Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four. Welcome back to Back to the Future Episode 4. We got out of our cell, thanks to Jennifer and my guitar, and my dad, who's breaking the rules, uh, quite uncharacteristic un un of him. And, uh, so let's so see if I can- why can't I get out of here? Why can't I get out of here? Okay. Okay, Hotshot, what's next? Now we rescue Citizen Brown, get the hell out of here, and get things back to the way they're supposed to be. Whatever, just as long as I get to break some stuff. I've got a lot of pent-up hostility right now, you know? Miss Parker. What the? Yeah. I'm here to escort you to the lobby. Your father's waiting for you. Mm. Can he wait? I was hoping that this attractive young man could take me on a tour of the facilities. I'm afraid I really must insist, miss. Relax, Jennifer. I've got everything under control. Really? Really. Har har har. Okay then. But first... Why would you do that? What was that for? For saving me, dummy. Let's go, officer. You know, I'm probably gonna have to write you up for a PDA violation. Don't bite me. What? Rock and Why roll. would you do that? Okay. Oh god, there's dog. What's this? Food? I want some food. I have some of that. Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I could be pretty persuasive. No. No. Uh, okay. Disengage occipital overrides. Occipital? Wow, they've really got this door locked up tight. I wonder what sick freak they've got in here. Ah! Oh, that's, that's, yeah. I should have known. Is he crying or laughing? Oh, I think he was laughing. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Let's take a little tour around here. It's over here. What are you doing in here? Uh, uh, looking uh, for the bathroom? The next scheduled bathroom break isn't for another 158 minutes. Right. I'll just pee into a Coke bottle and uh, share it with you later. Okay, so I can't go in there. Can I do anything over here? It looks like a giant air freshener. Here. It doesn't look like a giant air freshener. It looks like an old school computer. But they said it's an air freshener, so I'm going to pretend it's an air freshener. Um, yeah. That speaker looks really familiar. I wonder what happened if I went over there and played some guitar. No improvement, Citizen Edna. Shall I recycle the treatment? Yes. Do you mind? I'm trying to run a complete personality rebuild on the big man himself here. And? And the last thing I need is your stubby little fingers turning Hill Valley's savior into a drooling rutabaga. Is there a problem over there, citizen? A rutabaga. No problem, ma'am. Good. Let's get back to it. A drooling rutabaga. All right. Well, let's see here. Shit. Oh! It's okay, Doc, man. I'm coming. I'm coming, man. Okay, that, oh, that's my room. Fuck. Okay. Damn. What's over here? Oh, that's Jennifer's door. Who's in there? Hey, get me out of here! The leech? Sorry, can't hear you in this thing, but thanks for the duds, though. Uh, oh, it's the fucking cop. Or the security guard. I don't know why I that. Whatever. Okay. Increase somatic sensory fluids by 17%. Okay, so let's see here. I don't even know why they still gave me this. I don't know why I would put this under here. But I will, I guess. Biff? Hi, Biff. Hello, butthead. Looks like your intercom's busted. Eh, just as well. It'd probably be just a bunch of swearing and mixed metaphors anyway. Probably. Um, you want out? You want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. Um, hey Biff, 
Guess who your guard is? Peekaboo! <laughs> the guard says I'm not supposed to give you any food until you swallow your pill. Wow, it was that easy? Uh huh. I got it. I got it. I know what you want me to do, baby. I'm all for it. Oh, Biff spit. It's okay, honey. Let's see here. What could I put in your drink? Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Ah, uh, sorry. It was just a shadow. Stop goofing around and get back to work. Oh, yes, open sir. It. Drink it. Drink it. Yes, you like it. You love it. You want it. It's delicious. You're very sleepy. Jeez. Oh, what have they been feeding Biff? Horse tranquilizers? Yes. All right, no, Doc. God. Who, me? I, I mean, me? Yes, you. As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Yes, my okay, love. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? No, no. Does he even know it's me? Probably not. Jeez, where's the off button on this thing? What is all this horse shit? Hey, an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. Okay. Optics. Don't do that. Jesus, don't do that. Fuck it, hey. Can we turn that down? Maybe? Thank you. Gotta fucking break him. What are you doing over there, citizen? I don't know. What are you doing? Gastro sensory. Gastro sensory. Oh god. Tactile. Gonna stab him? Oh god. So, uh, sorry. Um, oh, it's always something olfactory. I saw it. Where is it? Olfactory. I think I know what that means. It means it smells good. What the? Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This'd go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. You won't think that in a few more hours. Anna, uh, please, think about the consequences of your actions. Me? You're the one threatening the social order of Hill Valley with your crazy volume. Finally, a word I can understand. Oh god. I don't know what to do. Okay, that moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. With... What? Was this again the optics? And this is the tactile? And the gastrosensory? Uh, I guess let's try shocking the fuck out of him again. I am again. not doing that again. <laughs> okay. <Where's Martin? laughs> I'll get him a burger later. Hmm. How's this gonna help him? I won't. I'll get him a burger later. I am not doing that again. Well, fuck. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Can I... Here, let me turn off the... Uh, turn this down. And turn it back up again. When did I lose control? Nope, it's not gonna move him again. 
I guess the speakers won't push him any further until I hook it up to a really big sound. Oh. Is that what you wanted? Okay. Doc? I'm sorry. Aha! So let's hook my guitar up to this. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, dude. Sorry for you guys, too. Doc, let's get ready to blow this joint. What was that? I don't know. You! What are you doing? Get my friend out of here, you nutcase. Okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Yes. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna die now. It's gonna be awesome. Dude, if you're in there, just pick him up. Instead of fucking with a guitar. Let's go, Your Honor. Pretty sure that would kill you. I can't hear you! You're welcome! So I'm a fugitive now. It's pretty cool. Alright, where am I? Oh, I'm in the trash with Doc. What do we do? What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't trust her. Don't talk to her. She could give us away. Where is the DeLorean? Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Yes. Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so, yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. Yeah, don't worry about I it. I guess. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. <laughs> All right, Dad. Just like 55. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Alright. Mom! Dad! No! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. I like how quickly he understood paradoxes, considering he didn't believe in this like, like an hour ago. clear! Great! Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in well, Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Okay. Good luck, Your Honor. So, does that mean that I should just... Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Well, yeah, it's probably Citizen gonna Brown? drive the car in there. Emmett? Bob? Look at me, I'm just hanging out in a trash can. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, how do I get out of here? Got a newspaper. Hey, bro. He's not coming back, you know. 
What are you talking about? Emmett. Without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! Crap. Heh. <laughs> Not the only inspiration in Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Uh, why don't you just die? I'm just saying. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. A dog yeah, feeder? Well, he did that, too. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. Oh, there he is. Oh, it feels so good. It worked! <laughs> His hair! One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ha-ha! Emmett! You're gonna don't die. Don't do this! You need help! Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't- <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. Why? I set to repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh well, I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration on the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, why are we Charlie Alex Chaplin you? again? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? <laughs> That's you, Edna. <laughs> you shit. Fine! Leave! I'm you, No, honey. You won't. I run this town! Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Yeah! Let's go, bitch. Feels good, man. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this episode on ice. How good does that feel after everything I went through to, you know, get through to Doc and to get him away from Edna? He fixed the time machine and he came back and he got me and we're gonna go back into 1931 and fix all this. However, I have to say I'm a little worried about that little freak out he had about, uh, you know, the you know, two seconds versus two minutes thing. Uh, minor miscalibration. Why? Why is it my? Why is it miscalibrated even minorly? Why? What are we doing? Uh, are we gonna? Are we gonna get fucked? It's gonna suck. Oh no! What if Edna gets the time machine? Okay, let's just stop jumping to conclusions. Let's just you know, get to play the game. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this episode on ice. Drop me a note in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. If you thought it was awesome, please hit like and subscribe for more videos from me. And I'll chill with you next time. But until then, stay frosty. Hello, cat. Don't lick the counter. Don't attack the cat. He's just ugly. He can't help it. Cat! I just burned the shit out of that cat. And the clock. Two cats at once. I see charred remains of the cat. I... I didn't mean to do this. The furnace was supposed to be broken.